Hello Capricorn, welcome to your mid-monthly reading for October. I am Charlene Lizette. If you're new here, hello, hi, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by. I have new lighting set up, so let me know what you think of it. If it's too harsh, I don't know. I haven't decided yet, even, even if I'm gonna keep it. But anyways, thought I'd get your input on it. I also, as you can see, I've started to put stuff in the background. Uh, again, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or not, but um, yeah, let's see how it goes, all right? Okay, so if you're new here, Capricorn, uh, for the mid-monthlies, I pull out five cards, and then we get into like your love reading and all that jazz. All that jazzy jazz, all right? Let's see. Excuse me, senor. Showing up, okay? If you are a masculine, you might have your eyes on a feminine. If you are a feminine, you might have your eyes on a water sign. Um, that just could be one solution here. Uh, What's going on here? Um, okay, Capricorn, if you're here for anything other than a love reading, I'm gonna tell you that this week's reading, or this mid-monthly reading, um, might not be for you, okay? Um, it just that's just that's just what it's looking like, and we're gonna go with it, okay? Because that's just that's just what it's looking like. It's looking like it's going to be a love reading. Let me get the other cards here. I forgot to get them before I started the reading. Like, what accent was that? I don't even know. Uh, okay, death, transformation, Scorpio. Okay, so Pluto did station direct last week, I think. Yeah, I don't even know. What? I don't even know. Yeah. I want to say it's last week. Oh, my God. And you have the eighth house here. Okay, Capricorn, you either have a secret admirer or you are the secret admirer. Um... I almost feel like you and this person have caught each other's attention, if that's making any sense at all. But neither of you are making making a move. Why? Freedom. Okay, I possess the power of the free will to create my own happiness. Let me do this so you guys can see the cards. All right, let's get into this reading and we'll see what's going on here, okay? So you got Scorpio, death, transformation, the eighth house, okay? That's Scorpio, Pluto. Like I said, Pluto went direct. I want to say it's last week. I don't even know what day we're on anymore, honestly. I just know that it's the mid-month when this is going to be going live. Um, and then you have the eighth house. The eighth house is Pluto, Scorpio. So it's very interesting that that's showing up very prominently, particularly around the fact that, like, this is Pluto, Scorpio, Cancer. Um, sorry, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Um, I do have to say that this does feel though, that this doesn't feel like it's you against you. If that makes sense. Like this doesn't feel like it's something inside. This feels like it's like you have your eye on someone or you're into someone or you like someone. Um, and it's this process of maybe unearthing feelings or emotions towards this particular person, uh, in a very psychological way, right? Because Pisces or Pluto is psychological. You can tell that Mercury is going direct because I'm having a hard time talking. Mother truckers. Um, fun fact, if you're born during a Mercury retrograde, uh, Mercury retrograde doesn't necessarily affect you like it does everybody else, but it's the shadow period where you start to get more affected. And shadow period for me is like, I can't talk. I can't like, bleh. and so yeah, we're, we're gearing up towards it on the 18th. So of course, here I am struggling. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, no, it's not. Okay, um, eighth house, uh, Pluto, it's a house of life, enigmas, transformation, the hidden sexuality, death. Yeah, uh, the eighth house is also about someone else's property, it's inheritance, it's money, it's real estate, it's investments. Um, it's also about the deepest unrevealed wishes as well as fears, occultism, and estosericism. Uh, it's transformation. I keep getting this feeling, like this is this is the feeling. The feeling is that you like this person, this person likes you, and you're both like, <laughs> neither of you want to talk to each other, but you're both into each other. And so both of you are like, mm, this person is so beautiful. Oh, I really like this person. And and then when it comes time to like, be like, hello, hi, my name is, you're both like, <laughs> and none of you can say anything. 
why i don't know maybe uh you value your freedom maybe you've been hurt before capricorn and so you don't want to jump into anything maybe you're afraid that they're going to be like everybody else and they're feeling the exact same way either way both of you are feeling kind of stuck about this situation but i ha like you're both it's like you're both you know what this i don't know i don't know if you go to the gym uh or if this will resonate maybe you can apply it to somewhere else other than the gym but it's almost like you're both working out beside each other dun, 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 dun. but none of you will look at each other but you're both looking at each other in the mirror going like oh my god so attractive oh my god and like both of you can't like you know it's that kind of stuff okay or both of you are really into each other but none of you are making moves i don't know why why are you not making any moves okay why the lovers Obviously, there's love here. Obviously, you're into each other, okay? Obviously, there's romantic feelings here, okay? All right, it's here. Like, cards don't lie. And with transformation, it's sexual desires. It really, honestly, feels like it's a deep sexual chemistry that you both have with each other, but yet none of you are making moves. Uh, I think for the... I, I think that this... If this is resonating with you, this reading... Um, it feels like this, the rest of this month will be a month where you're both going to continue to be like, mm, hello, hi, mm, hello, hi, mm, hello, hi, but not making any moves. Like and it feels like an action, kind of like both of you are waiting for the other person to do something. Uh, you're both waiting for the other person to make the first move. With the hanged man, it's always about, for me anyways, it's like inaction leads to action. Uh, I can talk about contemplation. Some people talk about stagnation, but for me, it's more about like this reflective energy where self-reflective energy, where you take a step back and you're like, okay, let me analyze and see how, what, when, where, why. And I think as you take a step back and you pull back from this carnal desire like you stop following like you know the lust right like the raw sexuality and you start actually focusing on like okay let me let me like get to know this person let me see how they behave let me see how they act at the gym right once you start doing that um that's when i feel there's going to be an opportunity to move forward honestly i definitely see you all talking even maybe for some of you Mm hmm you know what I'm talking about mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. I am seeing that um now to say or not to say that this will turn into a long-term relationship well uh, you're gonna have to tell me that because I, I have no idea I'm not seeing either or I'm seeing like you're both like wouldn't it be nice some of you are still hung up on your ex here okay release your ex the time has come to clear your energy if you want to book a live one-hour reading with me or if you want to shop over at Starcy Jewels, take a look at the description box below. I create uh, modern-day amulets. I'm wearing a bunch right now here. Uh, definitely, if you're more feminine-leaning or you like more feminine crystals or bracelets, I would recommend Venus. It helps to attract love. This has got Morganite Barrel and uh, Rose Quartz. And then if you're more masculine, um, definitely uh, Emperor, which I don't have here. Um, Emperor would be one that I would recommend for you. You deserve love. I think both of you have been hurt, but both of you want each other. I keep hearing that song. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. What? What? How does it go? Wouldn't it be nice if we were? Wouldn't it be nice if we were older? Da, 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 da. Do you know what song? I'm like? Da 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 da. What? Yeah. Wouldn't it be nice if we were all da 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 like, wouldn't it be nice? Emperor, yeah, maybe maybe they're a fire sign. Um, maybe you have heavy, heavy Aries or Capricorn energy here. Eight of Cups, you deserve. Maybe it's your ex that you're trying to get over, and they're an Aries sign, or they're no, this feels like it's you. Like you had an ex-Aries and the tower engagement. I I'm not gonna lie, honestly. I think <laughs> look, this is not what yeah. This is I hope that I don't get in trouble for showing this image, but like Let's just, I'm just going to leave it there for just one second. Um, but yeah, yeah. If uh, you will probably end up hanky-pankying and you turn yourself around with this person with the Tower, the Four of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles here under engagement. Okay, so uh, yeah. I do see that. 
Um, but I think this month is just a rest of the month where both of you are kind of going to be like, how do we move forward and talk to each other? All right. Okay, Capricorn, that is your mid-monthly reading. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. Let me know if you like the eyes, if I should make them further apart. I don't think closer together would look good. And this lighting, I'm trying to figure, I don't know, I'm trying to make it look better for you all. Wanna please you. All right. Thank you for shopping at Sarcy Jewels and Booking. You can do that in the description box below. We'll see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.